Hello, my name is Matt Nolf, uh, and welcome to PNG Technologies. Uh, we're a supplier of custom natural gas and propane kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the uh, Honda Inverter EU3000IS. Uh, we'll show you the propane steps on it, and then we'll show you the natural gas steps on it. Now this is not the handy. Uh, there is a difference, so this just covers this EU 3000 IS here and we'll go ahead and get started on that and show you how it's done. Okay first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get access to our carburetor. Just a standard screwdriver open that up. Now you're not going to see a lot of things that I'm doing with my hands because this is such a tight area but basically all we're going to do is remove the air cleaner cover right now. So go ahead and pull your vent hose off. There's one on the back. You got four clips here. get those and this is tight in here sometimes it'll come right out and sometimes it'll be fussy just kind of make sure your clips are back out of the way but it can be stubborn There we go, and the filter, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the two bolts coming off the back of the air cleaner and the back vibration bolt on towards the bottom here. Again, you're not going to be able to see in there, but there are three. Uh, there'll be one bolt and two nuts up here. We'll go ahead and remove them and we'll show you that. Okay, we'll go ahead and remove the two nuts up top here, and these are 10 millimeter. Get those off and then we'll be able to have access to the gasoline carb. Again, I know my hands are going to be in the way a lot, but go ahead and pull that off. And now we've got access to the gasoline carburetor here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have to back out these studs, okay? So what I do is you got a metal plate here. Just go ahead and pull that plate off. Get you some vice grips. Don't mess up the end of the thread. You need them locked down on these. Lock down on them good. Bring them out about two or three turns. That'll give you enough room to be able to get clearance to put everything back together when we get our slim adapter on there. So we'll go ahead and show you that. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and install the bulkhead. Now on this one here, you have to install this fitting here first the one that's going to connect in the inside to this because you won't be able to turn it when you get it inside there so just make sure when you put it in there that obviously when you bring this adapter on here and put it on there that your hose lines up with that okay so what we're going to do is go ahead and make sure again this is on this side slide that in there Okay, and we'll get the lock washer nut on there. And what I do is I kind of take this fitting in the back and kind of face it over this way at first so when I'm tightening this, it turns it for me. And this is one inch here, okay? So let's go ahead and get that tightened. And again, that fitting is turning in the back on me now, so there we go. And I got it facing about this position just to come up to that tube, okay? Now what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we'll show you the next steps on and hooking up this here, and we'll show you the adapter. Okay, we've got that tightened in there. Now we'll go ahead and we'll supply you with a little pack and a compound here. Just put a little pipe dope on this. Now this will turn on you. And I'm going to face it back to this position here. So go ahead and just get you, you're not going to be able to get it on there good. Get you your wrench on there so you can hold that back so it doesn't turn on you when you go ahead and tighten this fitting up here. Now you've only got six ounces of pressure going to this, so you don't have to overkill it. Okay, it's to turn on me there a little bit. Go ahead and back it up a little. There we go. Go ahead and lock that down. We got that. 
go ahead and pull our wrench out the back. Now on this one here, we kind of had the clamp on it already. So let's go ahead and we're going to slide it on our fitting back down here. Again, you're, you're not going to be able to see this, but we're just sliding this down on here. Okay. Yeah. Let's make that hose a little bit longer there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and install this. We made this hose a little bit longer. Again, you're just slipping over the fitting we installed on the back. Okay. Go ahead and turn this in its position here. And make sure your gasket's back there before you do it. Let's go ahead and bring your clamp back down on the bottom here. All right, we're good to go there. That's all that. And we'll show you the steps on installing. We're just going to reverse what we did with the air cleaner now and put everything back on. We'll show you that. Okay, now we've got that all installed. We'll go ahead and reverse what we kind of did in the beginning. We'll supply you a gasket here. Go ahead and get your gasket on. These little spacers tend to kind of come out sometimes, so I kind of hold my fingers on them. Make sure your air cleaner's back in there. Oh, see? Right there. Yeah, these little things seem to tend to come out. I don't know. They don't put them in there very well. Let's try this again. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and get our nuts back on them. And sometimes them spacers, like I said, they can be a pain in the butt, but go ahead and lock these down. Alright, we'll get our bolt back here for our vibration bracket in. In. We'll go ahead and get our hose back on the back of this. Tuck that in there. That pushed in there. We'll get this on. Go ahead and get our filter back in there. There we go. That side. And then this can be tough to get in there. We'll go ahead and get that. Clip that on there. That on the top, the bottom, and that's that step there. We'll show you the next steps. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and mount our regulator assembly. This will all come pre assembled for you. Um, we're going to mount it on the door here, um, just under the Honda, and then just center the bracket on the door. So just below the Honda, just kind of center the door there. Make you a mark with a marker. And then just kind of make sure you're even from the top to the bottom, you know, just so you got where it doesn't look all crooked. And then I'll take a little punch. Makes it easier so the drill bit doesn't wobble. Okay. And if you are scared of not being able to stop your drill bit from going through this, because you don't want to obviously punch your anything behind here, okay? So if you want, you can kind of leave the door open when you drill it. Um, we'll go ahead and get the, you can drill them out 5 sixteenths. Get a little start there. Alright, now go ahead, your finger behind there. Show you the next procedure.
procedure on that. All right, now we got our holes drilled in there. We'll go ahead, we'll give you the hardware also for this. Let's go ahead and slide her through. And we'll give you a little thicker washer for the back. Okay, and then we got one more over here. Flat washer on, lock washer and your nut. Just kind of hand tighten them and then we'll lock them down. See, that's nice and clean there now. Now I just kind of level it up, make sure it looks good on there. Go ahead and lock them down. that step there we'll show you the next procedure on uh, installing our hose here okay now our last procedure here we're going to go ahead and install our hose coming off our bulkhead to the adapter up to the outlet of the regulator you don't need pipe milk for this down here it's a flare fitting just go ahead and get that tightened down And then we'll go ahead and bring our hose up. Now I got a little clamp here. Just slide that up. Bring your clamp over. And that's that installation right there. That wraps that up. Next step, we'll go ahead and show you how to run this thing. Okay, now what we're going to do is hook this up to propane. Um, obviously, with the propane kit, you'll get the high pressure regulator assembly. Um, now, if you have six ounce natural gas pressure at your house, this is where the tri fuel kit kind of comes in. As long as you have six ounces at your house for your meter, you can use this setup uh, for the propane. And then if you got six ounces at your meter, you just would eliminate this and go to this regulator here. As long, again, as it's six ounces coming out of your meter. If you have four ounces coming out of your meter, you will not be able to use the propane setup. Uh, you would have to purchase the four ounce regulator separate. So we'll go ahead and turn our propane on here. And on the back of this, there's a manual primer button. Um, we'll preset these as close as we can. Um, you might have to adjust them a little bit. Everything changes, depends on the altitude you're at, how many hours are on the engine. Go ahead and hit the button on the back. Make sure your gasoline shutoff is in an off position when you run your propane or your natural gas. And then vice versa, if you ever want to go back to gasoline, Make sure you drain and run all your alternative fuel out. Turn your gasoline valve back on and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and get her cranking. Hit that button. And you can see this will die down. She'll smooth out. These hoppers are quiet. But that's pretty much the steps that I'm at. Okay, that wraps up the steps for converting this over to propane. Again, like I explained with the natural gas, if you have four ounces there, you have to make sure that you order the four ounce natural gas regulator for it. Um, again, these are custom kits. This is, uh, here is designed for the Honda EU3000 IS. Again, not the handy. This will not fit the handy one. So um, if you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, you can go to our website at pnggtechnologies.com. Or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. Thank you very much. I hope this helps out a lot.